Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how to draw a rabbit. In this example, it's a wild grey rabbit. In terms of the supplies, I used a mechanical pencil with HB LEDs, along with the standard 6B pencil. I also used blending sticks to blend and smooth the shading. And to add additional details and highlights, I used a small eraser. Oh, and the paper I used is called Smooth Bristol Board. But if you don't have these supplies, please don't worry. I promise you can use any pencils and any paper, and you'll be able to create something similar. I started off by sketching the eye, adding the circular shape with the corners of the eye angled diagonally. In this example, about two eyes width to the left of the eye is where I started adding the outlines of the rabbit's head, and I was also adding guidelines to help me align the overall shape of the head. It really helps to imagine the 3D shape as you sketch. So I also added a diagonal guideline in line with the corners of the eye, and a line along the center of the head. And using these guidelines, I was able to figure out the placement of the nose. It's actually equally spaced downwards from the horizontal lines I'd placed, and you can use the center guideline to help you find the center of the nose, and the diagonal guideline will help you find the corner of the nose. So I highly recommend using as many guidelines as you think you need. They always help me out with drawings like this. From here, I sketched the mouth and continued to add the outlines around the rest of the rabbit's head, adding them lightly because I wanted to add light fur later on, and I didn't want any outlines to show through. On top of the rabbit's head, aligned just behind the eye, is where I started adding the ears. In this case, they're almost the same height as the rabbit's head. And then after that, I continued adding some of the rabbit's body, not worrying too much about the details here, as I wanted the rabbit's head to be the main focus of the drawing. After that, it was time to start adding the shading, and I began by adding the shading to the eye, adding dark shading around the outer edge and to the pupil, along with some mid-tone shading to the rest of the eye, but making sure to leave some highlights. I added a gradient to the mid-tone shading, and blended it with blending sticks. If you don't have blending sticks, you can use a brush, or cotton buds, or your fingers, there are lots of great options. I also added a bit of shading and details to the eyelids. To have more control over the placement of the highlights in these areas, I was using the small eraser. Then I added some shading to the rabbit's nose, again making sure to smooth this shading. Then, it was time to start adding the fur. 
My method for drawing fur is to start off by adding a layer of quick fine strokes with a sharpened lead. Then I'll use a blending stick on top of this patch of fur, in the same direction the fur is flowing. Then I'll use a small eraser, in the same way I used the pencil, to add another layer of quick fine strokes. And I continue this for a few layers, building up the detail. I'll make sure to slow down some parts of this video so you can see the process. Whenever drawing fur or hair, I recommend not to worry too much about adding any exact details. It's a great idea to have some reference photos in front of you, but you really don't need to copy them exactly. Uh, I find it works a lot better to approach this kind of drawing in a relaxed way, with a relaxed hand and just adding random quick fine strokes. Because if you think about it, a rabbit's fur is always going to be moving and changing, so you really don't need to draw the fur in a specific way. Not to mention how much longer it would take to try and copy every single hair. And that can actually lead to a more awkward looking drawing in the end anyway. Uh, in general, I find that approaching it in a relaxed way can give much more natural and realistic results. I used the same technique for the longer fur, I just added longer strokes with the pencil, the blending sticks, and the eraser. For areas like the mouth and the ears, where lighter fur is overlapping shaded areas, I recommend to add the shading first, and then use the small eraser to add layered light fur over the top. Uh, this definitely helps to create a more 3D effect in those areas.
I continues on using the same methods on the rabbit's body, making sure to define the shapes of the legs with areas of darker shading. And I used the small eraser a lot in this area to make the fur look extra fluffy. I faded the details down towards the bottom of the drawing because I wanted the rabbit's head to stand out as the most prominent feature. With all of the fur added, I then went back to add additional details and variations to it with a sharpened 6B pencil. Using this softer lead, I was able to add darker tones to define some areas, especially around the rabbit's head. I decided to also add a mid-tone background using the 6B pencil and the blending sticks. And this way, I was able to add highlighted fur around the outside of the rabbit with the small eraser for a bit of an environmental lighting effect. And then using a sharp lead and the small eraser, I added the whiskers. For the final stages of this drawing, I added a few layers of grass at the bottom, blending and blurring it with blending sticks, and adding a few highlights. And then I continued to render and refine some details on the rabbit with a sharp lead. And I really hope this video helps out in some way. I find this type of drawing so fun, it's always enjoyable to draw animals in this way. Uh, it's a really relaxing process, especially creating the fur. I highly recommend giving this a try. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think of this in the comments below. And also, let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe. And any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow and support my progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it helps out and I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.